I used to call myself a copist, crafts person or something, but now I think I'm more of an artist. Yeah. <laughs> this one's a little bit odd. Hi, I'm Ruth. I'm, I'm a willow artist um, working in the northeast. I grow a lot of my own materials and make a variety of different structures and things like that. I met a friend and she learned how to do living willow structures about 20 years ago. And then that's how it started really, because we started working with quite big willow, but making living willow tunnels and dens in schools and that sort of thing. Because this is what I do for a living, it's not just a hobby. Well, this is the willow store. You can see we've got various different shades of sort of rich browns and greens. There's a reddish colour there. Here we've got some yellow and there's this lovely rich red. This is called Flanders Red. It takes ages to soak, but it's worth it because it's such a lovely pliable willow. I've done um, a big sculpture of a coal miner at Low Burn Hall Wood in Durham. Just outside Durham, it's a Woodland Trust wood and he's sitting on the banks of the River Weir. I've also done a dragon, but that's down in um, Sedgefield at Hardwick Hall Country Park. You'd be surprised at what you end up with sometimes. <laughs> so I've got the base size is about the same size as this, so it'll be pretty similar to this basket in the end. It is green because um, every year you cut the willow and then it regrows, so you've got a renewable resource. So you could even plant the willow in your garden, in a small area, you'd get enough to make quite a lot of baskets. I'm quite practical and I like to do sort of physical work outdoors because that's what I'm used to. So now I'm going to make a star wheel. Do five bends. A star for a wheel. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>